Hello folks, Exeter Rider, hope you're doing well. Now this week you join me at Cathedral Yard with the noisy seagulls and a uh, nice part of the world here, sort of right next door to the high street and there's Exeter Cathedral. Anyway, today is all about the Sinis Hero 125, which is a affordable uh, city commuter. And uh, yeah, let's get out for a ride and I'll let you know what it's like. It is actually really good fun getting around the city on a little scoot like this. You know, it's only £22 tax per year. It does over 100 miles to the gallon. I've got all the weather protection on bad days. I've got some storage underneath the seat. You know, there might come a time where I've had enough of the, the bigger bikes. But I could always see myself with something on two wheels. You know, whether that's this bike or, uh, you know, anything that's light and easy to use, like this. All right, sitting on the bike, the seat is uh, very, very comfortable actually, very soft, very plush. The bars are very narrow. It takes a little while to wind up, but at the same time you still know that you are winding up, rather than opening up in the CVT belt system, just not really doing much. Here I am, 52 miles an hour. Uh, I have got it up to 60, but then it, it kind of topped out between, well, about 61 it tops out at with me on it, so. Uh, this particular one's got the screen on it as well. I'm not sure if that's standard or whether it's a uh, added extra, I don't know. But the screen is actually a very uh, a nice addition to this scooter. The wind uh, hits the top of my helmet. Not that that matters, because you're not doing big speeds for a long periods of time. But going around the city on a bit of a dismal day like today, then at least the rain uh, does get washed away. You know, it does tend to uh, disperse. That being said, on really heavy rainy days, I would imagine that it'll hit the screen and it'll probably go straight onto your visor because it doesn't go above your visor. But, as I say, it's still very much a nice addition. I'd certainly uh, go for the screen option if it was me, so... Uh, worth thinking about and with uh, Sinus it's not going to be silly money to, to have this screen if you do lots more A roads and speeds above sort of 50 miles an hour for prolonged periods oh you let me out right thank you uh, then you will want a wind deflector on top of that so again power delivery uh, there is a bit of overrun like you get on all scooters but it's all right, you know, it's, it's a scooter, that's what they do. The scooters aren't for everybody. Some people are quite snooty about them, which I think is really bad. I don't think anyone should snoop, be snooty about anyone on T-Wheels. We're all in the same family. We're all, all doing it, really, for the same bunch of reasons. So you will always get a nod from Exeter Rider if I see you around. Uh, unfortunately, scooter, <laughs> from my experience, scooter riders generally don't nod me back because they're not used to people nodding. Thank you. The braking is excellent. It's very, very good. You know, really, really quite strong on the back and very strong on the front as well. Uh, a lot stronger than what, what you would kind of expect, really. I guess with it having the 12 inch wheels, that's probably why. Uh, it hasn't got a big radius uh, to, to, to sort of put up with. Another major bonus with scooters, of course, is the weather protection that you get from the fairings on the side with your legs tucked in behind there. Um, now, in this case, it's exactly, again, what you'd expect. You know, it does literally keep your legs pretty dry, really, and even the stuff coming down from above doesn't really affect you. For that, it's very good. The only thing I would say is that I'm 5'8", and I would say that I'm not cramped on it, but I think if you're six foot or, you know, and above, I think you need to sort of definitely try one first because it can and will probably be a bit cramped for you, I reckon. So keep that in mind. The styling of the bike, I think, is, is really nice, actually. I really like the style of this bike. It looks chiseled. It looks like they put some effort into it rather than just building a, a city commuter that just ticks the boxes uh, practically, but not in the styling department. This has got both of those. It does look pretty good. Getting around the town, you know, if I was, like, as I say, if I was working at a train station or in town as a retail person, then I for sure would be 
happy with one of these. I'd probably invest in one. It makes so much more sense than uh, having a, you know, a sort of bigger bike or buying a, a train ticket for, a, you know, £1,500 a year or whatever. Just get one of these. Go door to door. Much easier. Free parking. And you can still get out with your mates at the weekend and do the shopping and everything else that, that biking can give you. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have a race here. We'll see how quick it is off the lights. Get ready to snap that throttle. Here we go. All right, so we left the other cars behind now. And there's the 30 there. So, yeah, you know, it's what it is, isn't it? You know, it goes all right. Here it is. This is the Sinus Hero 125. So first of all, let me show you what it's like sat on the bike. It's five foot eight, 30 inch inside med leg measurement. Uh, feet are flat on the floor. Uh, the seat isn't too wide, which is a nice change for a scooter, because quite often they are very wide and kind of uh, difficult to get on and off sometimes. So all good here. Screen goes up to here on me, about my nose height. And uh, as I say, if it's raining, the rain might come up and hit you on the visor. Um, but it will still give you that extra level of protection for rain and the wind, which is always nice. One decent point about this bike I really like is the pop-out fuel cap, which is really good. Uh, it's so much easier to fill up for that reason. Very comfortable seat. If you've got a pillion, believe it or not, the pillion's going to be really quite comfortable on here. And we have the decent grab handles as well. To move the bike around in and out of the garage, very, very light indeed as you'd expect and you also get a center stand as standard on this scooter from the back it does look really quite wide it looks at you know the actual engine uh, compartment so to speak and the air box and all that goes with that is uh, quite chunky i'm surprised this is so built up here i thought that would be thinner than what it is pillion foot pegs here just pop out like so if you are going to take a pillion Right, so under the seat, we have some storage up here. Now, the only thing which this scooter is missing a trick on, which is always good thing, a good thing with scooters, is that it doesn't really fit a full-size helmet in, which is a real shame because obviously that is the, the one of the major points with scooters is having a place to put your helmet. Let's take that hero camera off there, ghost camera. Yeah, it just, it's nearly there. It's not far off. I have got a large helmet, so perhaps if it was a smaller or medium-sized helmet, maybe it'll go in. But for me, it isn't, so I definitely need a top box if I was going to have this scooter. That being said, at the end of the day, it is still bonus storage that you don't get on a normal motorcycle, so that's still pretty good going. So moving on from the underseat storage, we do have the carrier bag holder, which most uh, scooters have. We also have a glove compartment here, which is surprisingly handy. Uh, you know, any storage is handy when you're on a bike, isn't it? Uh, riding a bike, really easy, really simple. Uh, there's nothing to it, it's a twist and go. Throttle, left brake, right brake. Brakes are very good. The mirrors are surprisingly not too bad, actually, as well, because they're quite high up. And, and overall, it's just an easy, easy, cheap bike to run. Sinners do have a website, so they do have a dealer locator. Uh, they're still quite spread out across the country. Uh, shame, really, because I think that they do have quite a lot to sell, and I think this would actually sell quite well if they had the, uh, you know, the, the, the dealers around. Shut up. Oh, God. Obviously, longevity, uh, I don't know. I've only done a small amount of mileage on this bike. There's nothing really showing up a red flag to me. It seems okay to me. Uh, as with all these things, uh, you know, it, the resale value won't be as much as some other Japanese brands. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you're not paying the money on the outset, are you? So, and uh, overall, thank you very much for getting this far in the video. So much appreciated. Thanks to Sinis. Uh, give it a like and subscribe, it would be super cool, uh, very much appreciated. That's me over and out, thank you very much, cheers.